my alma mater, Florida International University. And lastly, now that Iran has uh, been legitimized through the uh, JCPOA, received billions of dollars in sanctions relief through, uh, through which it can continue its reign of terror, what guarantees have you received from the Iraqis, and have you brought it up, to protect the residents of Camp Liberty uh, from this newly strengthened and well-funded regime in Tehran? You can give me a written response on that. Will we be providing aerial protection, which is what the residents want now, to the Camp Liberty residents? And uh, are we going to continue to put T walls in place or not? But if you could ask the, uh, uh, the question about what we're doing to prevent a, ma a massacre, an airdrop, a humanitarian supplies, and, and the role of Russia. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Ms. Russell. I want to thank you in particular for your cooperation on the very difficult issue of the Iraqi Jewish archives. And we're very honored that they're on display uh, in, in, in your district. And uh, when I was the Iraq DAS, I worked on this issue quite a bit. I'm no longer in that role, but I still care very much about it. Um, I understand they're scheduled to run through the end of the year. Um, and let me, let me take that back to the State Department and get you a very detailed answer on that question and also on the MEK. That is something I also continue to follow quite closely. We have made some progress in getting uh, those folks out of Iraq, uh, many of them going to Albania, but I also get you a written answer on that. Um, on the question of the humanitarian situation in Syria, I will just repeat.